Alright, welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Mofog project. So today we're going to be working on the Mofog. Uh, and uh, let's see where we're going to be going. I think it is going to be the background today. I just want to know where I want to go from now on. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to put some grass down this spot right over there. Right over there. We're gonna put some grass here on the on some of the rocks, and then uh, we're gonna follow that up, and then we're gonna be uh, making sure that we then finally shape uh, this spot right over here. So we're gonna finally put some uh, shaping there. All right. Now let's get started on this, and uh, hopefully this will work out quite well. Yes. Right, it works. Just zoom in here. You're not supposed to get the move tool there. We need to select the uh, this one, right? Yes, this one. This one should work. And it's off. All right. So we need to then first do a calibration. Well, it has been some time since I actually did something um, with the drawing again on the calibration part. But uh, yeah, the um, the main the main problem was that the uh, I actually had like a lot of things to do. I had a lot of planning, and that uh, well, you know, it happens sometimes that I actually need to do stuff before. I will be able to do my other things, but yeah, um, but uh, I think this week I will be just able to draw every single day again. It is just, you know, a little bit difficult sometimes to do things. Um, there you go. Grab that bad boy. Calibrate, please. Thank you. One, two, three, and four. And it's back into the original position. Excellent. Right, it's back into the original position, right? Yes. Alright, it is. Good. Good, 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 good. Excellent. So yeah. Um Because if I now draw here, then it will work like that. Yes. All right. Uh, we need to go to not this one. This one. We need to go to the drawing parts. Yes. This part right here. I need to start drawing some grass on certain types of things. The main issue is that because we need to do that because of um, that's not sharp enough, right? Yes, that's not sharp enough. I knew it. Called it. So yeah, it is this one that we need to use for this. This bothers me. Yes, this bothers me indeed. It is not good. It's not correctly calibrated. Why? Why is this bot? <sighs> hmm. Yeah, it's not underneath. So if I put it straight, it's not connected correctly. So it's under below. Oh, fucking hell! <sighs> I hate that when that happens. The main issue is that uh, how do I say if my if my you know my triangle is right here 
my point of uh, drawing is right over here instead of in the middle. Oh well, see, I cannot draw in the middle. So my point of drawing is right over here instead of over here. So that is the main problem. And we need to do that. We need to fix that, otherwise, you know, we won't be able to draw accurate. And uh, if we're not able to draw accurate, that's going to be a horrible thing to do. Now the pencils should be in the same direction. Yes, it is. Now it is correct. Now the pointing end of it is in the middle, the side is in the middle, the front is in the middle. Excellent. So now it is working like intended. Wow, <sighs> that took way too long. Way too long. But yeah, it is necessary to do so, otherwise, you know, we will not gain any good or, you know, any benefits of doing this. So let me get, let me see. Um, since we've done that like that before, how did we do it right here? We did, we did it like that. Alright. I need to lower this size, otherwise I'm going to be regretting it soon. Is this worth it? I need to I need to put a color off of the rocks otherwise I won't be able to see it properly. So I have this grass and the grass should not be there. The grass should then be on the top, right? Yes. There you go. Then need to have a little bit too big of a idea for grass. That would be made. That's more better. That's more like it. So if we now go to the here, I'm gonna pick up the first color we need. So now pick up the color that we need, and we're gonna put it then down where it is supposed to be, right over here. You can then see if the drawing would let it be how it's supposed to be. So if we then Add the rock part back in. Yes, as I thought. So the grass is not above the drawing itself. Huh. All right, that's fixable. So this part right here, this part right here needs to be. Of <laughs> no. No. Hmm. so this part is then uh, all right, we'll find out how to fix it. This part right here is then not above this one. Now it should work. Yes. Excellent. Layering issue. 
nope, 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 not touching that. Nope, not touching that at all. Not touching that. We need to touch this part and then do this. So if we now put this off, we can now see stuff. If we draw on it, we can now see where we need to go from here. Alright, so which one is the grass? That one is the grass. So this one needs to be in here. Alright. This one is the yes, this one is that one. So now we need to find the stone part, which we just you know called out. Where's this part? Stone part needs to be needs to be in this one. And now, if we now move this one, this one upwards, we should not have a problem now. Yes, excellent, awesome. Oh, hey, blue. Nice to see you as well. So yeah, um, we fixed the part that we need to fix. Excellent. That is, that is a smart me, that right there. That real smart me. But yeah, um, I've now finally fix the layering issue which uh, you know can appear when once you're dealing with well the drawing and now we can already see like ah well we need this one there we need that or this or such thing right there and that way we will be able to f we will be able to fix certain types of things which is great same must say myself. Yeah. And then if we add more grass right there, that would fix the gap part. Oh my, I'm getting smart here. That's that's not good. Getting smart seeing the seeing the patterns here. That is. Uh, Of course, you know, to make sure that we are able to see stuff, we should definitely put this thing out. So, now we can see things. Now we should put this back in. Put the coloring out so that we can see where we need to draw. We need to draw on that side. Right there. Alright. Now we done that. We need to add some more grass in this direction. And that would fix the whole end problem right there. It's sometimes hard to figure out like, you know, grass and rock like structures to connect them with each other. So, you know, it uh, it makes it makes sense that we're a little bit behind schedule right now. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Nice. So now that we've done that, we can now successfully say uh we eh. can go back to this and then we're gonna add some more color to this. By doing so, we will be able to get to the parts that we need. Now, 
you can already see like oh well that that is an overdrawing or that's an overdraw that is the whole main reason why I'm doing this right now like that to see like oh well this is not a part of the drawing this is a part of the drawing this is not a part of the drawing this is a part of the drawing to make sure that I'm not you know taking away the color pattern of the rocks itself so now we have the rocks back as you can see and we can see exactly where we need to draw some more color all right and that then this is correct good right. now we can double check to see yes this is correctly how I make it normally now we should be able to get this done now we add a second color to it which creates this effect but because we're still in the main color we also still need to make sure that we not that's exactly what I'm doing it awesome Now we're gonna remove this. Now we can see what color this is. We can pick it up right there. That's not the color that we want. We want to pick up the color. Jeez. Alright. We're gonna switch to that one. This one will highlight some of the parts of the grass. As you already can see, that actually works pretty well. I like it. Now the question is why is why is the drawing huh why is this so dark? Good question. It should never have been so dark. Hmm. Is it overlapping colors? Is it the drawing itself? Double check. That's not supposed to be happening. Alright. I'm gonna fix that. Feed. That is very strange why this is happening on the coloring part. Because I pressed too big, didn't I? Oh, I did. Fucking did. Alright. We're gonna fix it right back. So the main, I, the main problem is that I did a little bit too much of a uh i pressed the i pressed the um pencil too loud or, or too hard therefore caused the whole damn structure of the drawing to become darkened into gray black uh, sludge which now we're going to be preventing by you know putting more effort into fixing it by not so pressing so hard on it This way 
should now be fine. Without breaking too much of the stuff that I'm already having. It's just a shame that it happens. You know? We we didn't want it. Alright, let's go back here. And now we're gonna be putting only the grass spots in. But first we need to make sure that we have every part of the drawing done. And there you go. Now it's successful again. Pick up the color again. There we go. And now add There we go. So yeah, um, now we know that you know if you press too hard on your on the pencil tool, then you actually get blurry vision, which is bad. So uh, there's still some parts left. Much better. So now we have done that, we can now go to the last draw. The last color we need is the shading color to get to make sure that we are able to, you know, put some darker uh, color into it. Um, this is actually very necessary to make sure that all these stuff that. Alright, now we've done that. Now I'm gonna look for some um, roots because this part here needs to be also fixed. Since then we are here having everything fooled in, um, do we want to have a dark gap again? That's the question. Like, do we want to have a dark gap? Probably depends situationally normally, but. We could go for a dark gap, but we need to figure out like where and how. So this dark gap needs to be coming behind the needs to be behind these sceneries. So they should be it should be the last one. We also need to put it into a map because otherwise we won't be able to see things. So this is gonna be the dark. Uh, area that we need to figure out like what we're going to be doing here. So what we could do is of course making it into a dark gap so we should go for dark and no, not that dark. This dark. This dark should work. And put some color into it. First, we're gonna go for this, and then we're gonna look for well, what do we want to have here? Then, because this is the dark that we want. Well, we want more darker, dark entries later on. Maximum doing this, 
and one more to the work apps and finally followed up by Should go for a blend tool instead. Let me do that. So we need this one again. This will create a dark, and we can go for the blend tool. Mm -hmm. Right for him. All right. Now we got that that part right here. Now we need to decide like where what we're gonna go here for. I think I'm gonna go for one more ro uh, one more layer of rock right here. Yeah, that should work. Like this. Yes, that would work. Of course, you know, once we're drawing the rock, we also need to make sure that we have. Um, what do you say? We need to fix this part right here, so the little gaps that we have left behind. But yeah. Alright, now we're gonna go for the rocks again. So, these are the rocks. And we're gonna be looking for the drawing part of the rocks. So, this part. Was it this part? No, this part we can use. Alright. So we're gonna go back to the to the tool that we need. We're gonna go back to pure uh, the pure black version of it, and now we're gonna be adding. Well, we're gonna be adding the rock. So we need to put this on. Uh, we need to make sure that this is optimal. So it should be almost near pitch black, but. So that we can see what we are drawing. So we want to have a draw a rock right in the middle like this. We want to draw a rock there. So we need to draw it like this. And we need to add in some more detail to the rock. I'd like to make sure that I don't see the crystal. That would be lovely. So now I can now I can second see what how the rock is going to be formed. So we want a rock that is a little bit bigger. Like this. A bit more rounder. Like so. I want, I want the rock top part to be more open for color, so I'm going to be switching up some textures right here. There you go. So, let me make sure that we 
is true. Putting this bad boy back in. That was correct. Now we're going to go for the coloring part. So, first we're going to pick up the first base color. That is this. Right here. And we're going to fill that up. can just use this one instead. It's not that difficult. That was the base color, after all. We can now also put this back into fully vis uh, vis uh, vis uh, visibility. Now we're going to pick up this bad boy. That is the lighting color of it. But this one we need to make sure the size is different. And now we need to use the blend tool. Alright. Now I'm gonna go for the darker color to get more detail into into the depths of it. So that you know we are able to do the drawing part. Let's see. There you go. Now that rock works, we can also put that rock right here. You can see the gap right there. Alright, how lovely. Now we're having a real rocky tastic experience on our hands. Alright, now we're gonna make sure that we have every um, part that represents the gaps. We're gonna fix those. First one is right here. And then the last one should be in this one, right? Yes. It did. Now we fixed it. Not really, but we fix it almost. Dang it.
right there. Yes. Excellent. Ah, that's more like it. Well, same goes for here. We're gonna make sure we have the larger core selected so it doesn't gap out too much. I'm gonna use the blend tool to make sure that we have the parts of it that do matter combine. Yeah. A little bit more. Well, that didn't work out. Don't mind me drawing it over again. I think this one should be fine. Right. There you go. Now, if we are looking backwards, boom, shalabim, shalabang. There you go. A new bami penguin. Hey. Yeah, that works. That works. It's of course not fully done yet, but yeah, that works. That is a decent amount of stuff already for that one part. We're already 40 minutes in. Uh, let's see. Am I able to do this part in 40 mi in 10 minutes? Oh, we now finished the part that we need to be finishing. So that's good. We successfully draw now. We now successfully have done the undoneable, which is uh, getting more uh, getting more rocks fixed and the grass fixed. So that's good. Now let's see. So if we want to continue with the roots, that is probably going to be taking 20 minutes of design again. Yeah, that is not going to be capable of 50 minutes. Nope. Um. I think we'll leave it here um, because, well, the the drawing is going to be otherwise, re yeah, otherwise we're going to be mid-sentence, uh, you know, quitting. So um, yeah, um, tomorrow we will be finally starting with the roots um, again. So on the left side, so we're going to be working on the left side again, and then hopefully uh, once that design is done, we can then already do the coloring and the texturizing. So that we are having like a straight look at like what what we want to do with it. Um, um. So that's it for today, and uh, I hope you all have enjoyed, you know, watching it and uh, seeing what I did and how I did it. Yeah, come on, mouse, mouse. There you go. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye.